What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, it's been a little while. Um, hope everybody had a good holidays, Christmas, New Year's. Um, I took some time off to go visit family and then I uh, got back and just got busy with work. So I just haven't had time to make any videos or anything. Um, I haven't done anything with the truck since last video. Um, so you guys haven't missed anything. Um, trying to get back in the swing of things. Uh, work's just been kind of crazy. Plus I've been doing some other stuff. But anyways, uh, I got a new diff cover for the truck. Um, I was kind of waiting for that too. Um, I just got a raw metal diff cover and I sent it over to my powder coater and it took him a couple of weeks to get it done. Cause I dropped it off. I think, uh, I think it was right before Christmas or maybe it was the week after Christmas. I don't know. But anyways, it was right around the holidays. So I'm sure he took time off. But anyways, um, I got the Banks uh, diff cover and uh, here's what it looks like. Yeah, so I went with a flat black uh, background and then uh, it's a candy teal. Um, I'm not exactly sure um, what the color is called. I mean, I know a lot of people call it candy teal, but when I told the powder coater that, he was like, oh, I don't know what color that is. But uh, we ended up figuring out what it was. <clears throat> I don't remember the name. Um, but if you like WC Fab has a candy teal. So I don't know. I don't understand that part. But uh, I think it turned out amazing. So that is going to replace the ugly ass stock one. Which is just nasty black. Um, one thing I did do is I kind of sprayed the rear axle down with uh, some uh, degreaser, some, oh shit, what's it called, simple green. Sprayed that down with some simple green, let it sit for like a day, um, sprayed it down again the next day, and then took like a brush to it, kind of scraped it a little bit, rinsed it off with water. Let it dry a day, and then I hit it with uh, some flat black spray paint. Just some uh, Krylon Fusion all-in-one paint and primer. It's matte black. Um, they had a matte black, and they had a flat black, and then they had a satin black, which <laughs> I'm sure they're all pretty damn close to the same color. Um, the guy at the store said the matte was the one that was a little bit shinier than flat. Flat was like real dull. So I kind of went with one, I went with the matte black anyways. Um, so I don't know if you guys can see that. I kind of just sprayed it the best I could. I didn't really cover anything up. Um, I didn't want to spend hours taping shit off and trying to make it perfect no one sees under there i just basically wanted to get some of the rust well it wasn't really rust but it just didn't look that clean it was uh, mostly black already but there was like a few little spots with like a tiny tiny bit of surface rust um so i just hit it with the spray paint can it's cheap and easy and uh, if it starts to wear off, I can just hit it again. So, anyways, enough talking. Uh, let's get this uh, old cover off and get the new one on. Um, there is a drain plug. Let me see if I can crawl under here. There's a drain plug right here. It's not actually on the diff cover itself. So we're going to pull the plug, oh my goodness, going to pull that plug, let it drain, um, once it's done draining, pull the other cover off and get the new one installed. So let's get going. Alright, 
I sure do have, uh, or should, sure do miss having a lifted truck. They're so much easier to work on because you can fit under everything. This dang thing, I can barely even fit myself with a creeper. stink that gear oil is some stinky stuff Careful when you pull that uh, plug off because there is a o-ring on it. I almost lost it. And then there's a magnet on the end. We want to make sure we clean all that off. There's some metal on there. Like some metal shavings and stuff. Alright, let's get this thing cleaned up. It's pretty much drained. his way but I'm just tightening this uh tightening the uh, drain plug back up
gentlemen. We have officially oh, got the cover off. I'm going to pull that gasket off because the cover we have has its own gasket. So we're going to pull that off and just leave that there. We're going to have to clean up the surface there a little bit, but that's fine. Let me uh, pull. Ouch. So. Oh, man. This hood's hurting my hair. Um. Or my head, not my hair. What the fuck am I saying? So, if you look at this, it's got this little channel and it has this little rubber gasket. So, you're just going to. Feed this little rubber gasket down inside the channel. perfect length because I've had these before where they don't really fit too. Yeah, this one's pretty damn good actually. It fits real well. I give them props over at Banks. They really engineer some good shit. Guys always be oh. you guys keep getting in my way
Step is we gotta torque all these bolts to 22 foot pound. is torqued down to 22 foot pounds so now we just gotta fill it back up oh. I'm going to before I fill it up I'm just gonna clean up all this mess um, and then we'll catch back up fill it up and end this video
Alright guys, so I put uh, four quarts of the Severe gear in there. Um, this little window right here is supposed to fill up with oil. It's supposed to be like halfway. But since we squirted it all on the top, it's probably all over the gears. <clears throat> so I'm going to... And then here's the fill plug. Um, I'm going to let that oil just settle. Oh, let me get out of here. So anyways. Yeah, it's pretty much done. I'm going to let that oil settle for maybe 20, 30 minutes. Um, my battery, second battery is about to die. So I'm going to end this video here. Uh, if you guys like the content, hit that thumbs up. And hit that subscribe button because we got a bunch more stuff coming. Um, still want to do some paint match or color matching stuff. Get rid of some of that chrome. Um, I've got a good chunk of stuff over there that I need to tackle. Um, actually, I'll show you guys this real quick. I got that stuff powder coated, uh, that diff cover. But I also got my... Uh, Gen Y hitch. So I got the powder, the Gen Y hitch white with the green, or with the teal, I mean. And then I got all the attachments that go inside. All that candy teal color. So, yeah, we're making progress. Um, just uh, got to find time to do all this stuff. So anyways, I'm going to end the video. Give it a thumb, give the video a thumbs up and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Alright, just want to show you guys something really quick. Um, I was telling you that the glass on the back um, needed to show halfway full of the liquid, or I mean the gear oil. Don't know if you can tell but uh, my truck is slanted like that. I noticed that after I uh, ended the video. So that's 100% why it's not showing up. Um, I read the instructions again, it said put four quarts in and uh, make sure it's on level ground. If it's not, then that's why it's not doing it. So just wanted to update you guys. I'm gonna just leave the four quarts. I know it's fine. So make sure when you guys do it, that you are on level ground. Thanks guys, later.